Okay, so let's have a chat about stairs. Um, so back to the book about the kitchen. Uh, chapter 9 is on special construction, stair design. So let's see what we can find out. Okay, so here for example, uh, uh, we have some interesting information for ladders, step ladders, the angle, the slope that you're required to have. But what we're looking for is this slope here, the one at the center, uh, which says 7 inches min uh, by 11 uh, for the thread and the riser. <coughs> uh, building codes regulate minimum riser dimensions uh, for comfort, da -da -da. thread riser, this is some basic formulas. Uh, there's somewhere that it says that this is also ideal for uh, residential and stuff like that. Uh, so here's what we're looking for. This is what we're interested in. Maximum riser, minimum thread depth, accessible stairs and emergency egress. So it's basically also the emergency egress. Uh, minimum thread depth, accessible stairs. Uh, also... Um, here for example uh this width uh it's uh, the minimum width is uh 44 inch or 1.12 meters so we like to work with 1.2 meters so that should be good and uh, this distance here of course the landing uh should be also uh the landing should be at least as wide as the stairway so should be at least as wide as this uh they serve as to have a minimum length equal to the stair width um measured in the direction of travel da -da -da, no longer than 48 inch uh, so uh there you go so we have 44 inch here and 44 inch here so let's try to do some modeling uh real quickly so for stairs what I will do is let me just move this onto the side or actually I can delete uh, maybe just move that to the side okay uh, for the stair I'm gonna start with a simple uh, mesh plane like this move that here and in the dimensions I'm gonna come here and say I want uh, uh, what 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 uh, we are in the Y so I want 11 inch 11 inch like this uh that's 27 centimeters mm. uh, so i'm gonna go with 28 centimeters <coughs> what is dick Ching suggesting uh he is suggesting uh 28 centimeter exactly right so and the other one is 18 centimeters so 7 inch on the uh, on the height okay so for the width I want to make that uh, on the X I want to make that 1.2 which was 44 inches 44 inches so 1.12 so let's go 1.2 okay and so at this point I want to go to the array modifier and uh, in the relative i want to put this at zero and i want to put this at uh the y at one here and in the constant offset i'm going to insert seven inch here which is supposed to be 18 centimeters so 18 centimeters like this and uh so if i go to the side view like this um let's say i had my i had uh, solidify modifier like this so I have uh, let's say two centimeter of thickness so what I can now do is array this uh, like this da -da -da, until I get somewhere there because you know I have 16 and the last step would be the step on the floor so let me bring back my floors alt H uh, actually so like this so that would be 17 landings and so the the book required uh each landing to be about four um 44 inch or at least as wide as the the stair width uh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new face a new plane 
like this uh, what happened okay like this and move that here and go to 1.2 like this and 1.2 here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a solidified thickness uh, 20 centimeter like this object apply scale and here object apply scale okay so this I'll snap it here at the end of the first step because that's the first step and uh, at this edge I'm gonna snap it here so that's my first landing and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna move that by three meters uh, because that's the top of my second floor and I'm gonna move that like this so actually not there uh, like here okay like that so this is uh, at this point this is very easy to uh, to work with this stair we have an accurate stair uh, model here um, so I'm going to uh, the good thing about this is that uh, you can further enhance the modeling the editing so let's say uh, this was some type of uh, uh, let's say uh, there was some structure below the stair that was supporting it some type of metal thin sheet metal of some sort so what I can do is I can duplicate this and I can uh, I think apply the solidify yes apply the solidify and in the array here what i can do is i can i can select this face below here i can shift duplicate that face and uh, put a loop cut uh, p separate that selection I select that face put a loop cut here Control r like this Put two loop cuts actually and snap this to the side and bring this here like that maybe that's negative five centimeters like that and extrude this down by negative five centimeters like this and I'll do the same thing here extrude this by negative five and snap this here and bring that by five centimeters <coughs> okay so now i can delete this face at the center and these guys uh, they should have some type of a uh, solidify modifier to them but right now they don't they only have the array so i'm going to give them another a solidify modifier and you can see it's crooked so I'm going to put even thickness and high quality normals and also object apply scale like this so now um, my face is pointing outside so let me go to the side view like this and on this side they're also pointing in the other side so I'm going to get into the edit mode select all of it and recalculate that go to shading UV and recalculate so it brings them all inside in one direction facing all the normals in one direction so this is how I can uh, I can create uh, some of these extra uh, stair uh, connection details where if you had a floor so let's say I can select this select that uh, select that okay and so I want to bring my my uh, my stair I'm missing somebody okay you as well B select that 
okay so i can move my stair in here like this uh and let's say i want to snap it here at the end like that okay and now i can select this floor on the top and i can select these edges and i can simply snap them on the side here like that and i can create another loop cut here S snap the loop cut right here select another loop cut snap the loop cut right here and basically now i'm into the editing to, to show you the how uh eventually the editing can start to be uh, some type of streamlined process uh, where things become naturally intuitive so i can delete this face and obviously i want uh, this edge loop cut to be sitting on top of that floor so select all of that and i want to snap it here sort of like that <clears throat> now obviously there's not going to be a door here or there could be a door but rather towards the end here about there could be and so in that case i would have to select these vertices and you know and move them sort of right there like that and maybe i don't want this door to be dead on on the on this entrance uh, so I'm going to select this door and simply move it this way and press Ctrl M to flip it in the Y so like this I want an in t internal entrance uh, I want an internal swing uh, sort of like that and I'll take this select these four edges and basically do this and so now I have a I didn't do that for this okay I have two walls here so I want to do that for this instead select that and that snap it here okay so basically this is how i would uh, manipulate these kinds of uh, things as you can see uh, the building can easily start to take shape this way where i have a certain level of control over a lot of things so now let's uh, export our new information so at this point what i'm going to do is i'm going to be systematic about this because i want to now keep control in an organized way so i'm going to select this i'm going to say export uh, obg and i'm going to call that stairs i'm going to call that metal stair uh, selection only y uh, z up y forward 1000 and uh i think that's good okay export that and don't forget these the brackets uh file export obg i'm gonna call this brackets export and uh, my new door positions so it's gonna be the doors uh, why not this as well file export even though that didn't change we'll call these doors
export and I'm going to also export the the floor the wall file export uh, wall and since my stair uh, my floor setting change file export obg uh, second floor why not do both floors as well okay both of them are selected so I can say export obg floors okay so now bring free cat uh, let me just delete everything here delete that yes and uh, let's start bringing our objects so let's start with our walls okay architecture mesh shape good that's good delete that okay uh, what's next so I want uh, my stairs my stairs did I not export the stairs metal stairs okay and here I'm going to say architecture, split the mesh, everything goes in, in its good folder. That's why we exported it and renamed it the way we wanted. And mesh to shape. Okay, and delete this. Some type of, uh, you know, maybe dark metal. And this turns into a wall too dark um, the brackets okay if architecture oops not that architecture split those meshes uh, architecture and um, mesh to shape delete that and let's get our floors and our wall and our doors and that and the doors okay so floors architecture split mesh doors architecture split mesh da, da, architecture mesh shape and this architecture mesh to shape and now I can delete these meshes delete that delete little trouble some with our doors but that's fine uh, turn this into structure okay so now we have something interesting uh, with some nice details so let's say uh, I you know if I were to get this information let's say I have a plane here put my surface there and I'm going to drop a section uh, change the placement in of the X direction uh, position 
X. No, I'm talking about the plane, not the wall. Section and move this about that much. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um I'm going to add all of this into that folder. Select all of these objects and select that last and add. Tech draw. A three landscape ISO. A three landscape SVG. Okay, let's try that. And let me drop my section. Okay, so I have to um, scale that. 0.01 let me um, put the solid rendering mode on and let's see the shade show uh, feel true and probably the line width as well two okay so basically you can see how everything is starting to read well uh, line with maybe good one zero one um, you can get some pretty good details with this thing um, and the reason why the line width is like that is because of the scale uh, but um, so everything reads well so that's how you would uh, get this kind of workflow uh, somewhat streamlined. So I think this is enough for this tutorial um, uh, for the stairs. You can you can get any kind of stairs with this method. This is just the, the basics. Uh, in Blender, you can come and uh, give you th your stairs even more thickness uh, to it uh, on the Solidify. Not the stair, uh, but the other one. You can give it more thickness on the solidify and inside FreeCAD you can explore this and start uh, if you had some type of a solid concrete uh, structure uh, but in this case inside FreeCAD I would bring this in FreeCAD and I would um, I would uh, simply uh, get these external edges and that's what I would use for uh, that's what I'll use to create a, a, a block, a, a, you know, a massive object to represent some kind of concrete, uh, some concrete structure. So I think that this uh, should wrap up this tutorial. I guess I'll see you into the next one. Stay tuned.